I went to college during a period of great change. You had an anti-war movement, you had the civil rights movement, you had the black power movement, had a chance to participate in what is known as the Orange Break Movement. I had a chance to march, to picket, to go to mass meetings, to hear the great leaders speak. And at mass meetings, music was very important. We Shall Overcome, Negro spirituals and African-American church hymns being sung. I can't tell you how important it was as a person who was advocating for change in the civil rights movement to be able to sing those songs with other people. It, it made you feel involved, it gave you encouragement. And then you had musicians like John Coltrane who wrote a song called Alabama. Nina Simone, who wrote a song, Mississippi Got Damn, James Brown, I'm Black and I'm Proud. Those were songs of the time period that were made to encourage people in the struggle and to bring people together. The name of my show is World Class Jazz. And I like to say on the show that I'm bringing the audience world class jazz with the backstory because I'm trying to help the audience understand what's important about the music and what's important about the musicians. The music that I like speaks to the exhibit, Black is Beautiful. I like 1950s and 1960s Miles Davis, John Coltrane. And what I tried to do was capture some musicians who were prominent in the period. And so I featured Miles doing So What, which is from the album Kind of Blue, which is the greatest selling jazz album of all time. That particular song, So What, features John Coltrane and Cannonball Adderley. And I tried to capture some of the people who were not in that period, but who exemplified what was taking place at that time. One of the people that I feature that's a contemporary musician is Gregory Porter. I featured the song Pretty, which is just a beautiful song, but he had two particular songs that make him speak to the type of seriousness and concern for equal justice and social change. One is called 1960 What? And he talks about the riots that took place in Detroit in the 1960s. And he has another one that's called On My Way to Harlem. That's very relevant to this particular exhibit. My wife, Judy Batiste, and I have been involved with the Columbia Museum of Art since it was on, on Senate Street. Being a person who's a product of the 1960s, we were more than happy to support this wonderful exhibit that speaks about a, awareness and a coming of black consciousness and concern about showing that black is beautiful and that we all can live together in harmony even though we may be different, we're the same.